Well, hi, all my LGBT friends and others. Well, I just got off the phone with Charlie Beck's office, uh, the chief of Los Angeles, and spoke to Levesque, his one of his um, uh, commanders there. And what the news isn't telling you, um, because of their sound bites, and of course, I anybody who's listening to my channel knows not to trust CNBC or MSNBC or any of the ABC channels, okay? Um, look at Fox, if anything, but definitely look at alternative news and do your own research, okay? Now, what Charlie Beck isn't saying uh, that they're reporting is that he doesn't uphold the laws or that he doesn't want um, people here that are illegal to commit crimes and stuff. If they do, they will be they will act upon it, but they, Charlie Beck is in charge of Los Angeles, okay? And Charlie Beck um, has his police officers enforcing the law in Los Angeles, and they work for the citizens of Los Angeles, just like the chief works for the city of Ventura or Oxnard or any other suburb, okay, of Los Angeles or Ventura and so forth, or Santa Barbara. Um, <clears throat> he doesn't want to become the uh, arm of the federal government that we have ICE, we have Homeland Security, we have, um, uh, we have the, uh, blah, blah, the uh, other departments that take care of that kind of thing, Border Patrol, for example, and so forth. So he doesn't want to take his resources and his manpower and uh, upend his uh, the the balance between being the sh the chief and police of uh, Los Angeles by taking his resources and and now being a part of the arm of the federal uh, uh, mandate to get rid of these uh, illegal criminals. Um, so therefore, he doesn't want to. He's not. He doesn't work for the, the the federal government. He works for the city of Los Angeles. So if, first of all, the media is not reporting everything that Charlie Beck is saying, and Donald Trump has to make it clear once he becomes president, he's not even president yet. He's already making changes, um, which is good. <laughs> it's a good thing, but it has to be made clear what he, you know, it has to be put into place and clearly stated, and I think people are jumping the gun here, uh, of what he wants done and how he wants it done and who he's going to have have um, it done by and who's going to be in charge of getting rid of these two to three million criminal illegals here in uh, the United States. In the meantime, you have people going across the border who are terrified of what's going to be happening in their own countries because all the criminals will be coming back. So they're trying to escape the ship, you know, and come over here illegally, okay? And that's not good either. Look, two wrongs don't make a right. So you come over here and it's gonna, you're gonna pay the consequences. Whether you're a good person or not, you're still gonna pay the consequences by coming over here because we're cracking down on you illegal people, finally. You know, after 20, 30, 40, 50 years of this stuff um, going on, finally somebody's doing something about it. I can't tell you how many times I've called uh, our governor or our senators or our local representatives to do something about the border problem. I've had people coming up to me who are from the South. Uh, from San Salvador, from Mexico, from Colombia, from you name it, who have said, why aren't you guys doing anything about the criminals? I'm like, hello, we, we vote at the booth. That was last November 8th, okay? And the people that we vote into office, we expect them to do their jobs. And the people in Oxnard, the police in Oxnard, expect you to do your job. If there are illegal people in Oxnard or in Ventura, you need to deport them and get rid of them now. Why wait until Trump becomes the actual president? Get going on it now. Don't wait. Take care of the problem. And you know, and I know, you know, if they're if they're illegal, if they're not committing a crime, it doesn't matter. They're illegal. They don't deserve to be here. 
and they don't deserve our services or our benefits or our hospitalization and they certainly don't deserve to drive and i know governor stupid governor brown has put into a uh, law that you know these illegal people now can drive that's that is not you know that's like you've got a wound and you put a band-aid on it you know you got a gaping wound and you needed stitches and surgery and you put a band-aid on it and now it's infected and it's gonna you know you're gonna have to cut the whole thing off all right so uh, you know, there's a right way to do things and there's a wrong way to do things, you know? It's like if you're in construction, measure twice, cut once, okay? These, these are little fundamental laws, little things that we've got to adhere to because otherwise it makes everything uh, even that much worse, okay? Take, do it right the first time and you don't have to worry about it later gonna drive down the highway stay at the speed limit or below or you know a little bit higher but not you know stay at the speed limit as much as possible go with the flow of traffic at the speed limit and then you won't get a ticket <laughs> you know <laughs> I'm speaking for myself okay um, but okay so anyway you know what I'm saying all right so the, the news you can't always trust the news media you have to find out for yourself what's really being said, what's really going on, and and then you can make an informed decision for yourself. Okay, you can't just sit back and not do anything. All right, I gotta run, I gotta go to work. <laughs> okay, take care, <laughs> bye.